when I heard this news about Bharti getting breast cancer, it was very, very shocking. I spent many sleepless nights thinking about how will her son take this. I wish she had detected this early enough. I hope she will stay with us longer. Just when she was getting treated, I got another shocking news. This time, it was my sister-in-law, who was much younger. She also had a small son. She was again detected with breast cancer, late stage. That was the trigger. I started reading about uh, breast cancer, like all of us do, went on the internet, read what's out there, what are the treatments possible, what are the tests available, and so on. To my surprise, I found that there are 500,000 ladies dying every year because of breast cancer. One in 17 women are likely to have some kind of a breast abnormality in their lifetime. The situation is very, very bad in countries like India and developing world. The survival rates are just about 50 to 60 percent. That means every alternate lady detected with breast cancer lose, loses her life within two years. The ironic factor is that breast cancer is completely curable. Nobody needs to die of breast cancer. All we need to do is detect early. But people wait till there's a huge two centimeter lump before they come to the city for the test and so on. While I was doing all this, I was actually a research manager, a lab director in a corporate research lab. And I wanted to solve this problem. So I started discussing with my colleagues, can we research on this? We started looking at what are the problems? Why is early detection not happening? First and foremost, there is a sheer awareness issue. People don't know that this disease is so common that it can affect me, affect you. One in 17. Even if they come to know, a test for breast cancer, such as mammography machine, is not available in a tier two, tier three city. They need to come to a capital city in order to take the test. Even if they come there, it is pretty expensive. Why would I spend 3,500 rupees on a test when I'm all well? Why would I come to a city every year to take this test? There's another problem. You all know that exposure to radiation increases risk to cancer in general. You'll be surprised to know, probably, that the only test available, the only test that is recommended for breast cancer screening uses x-rays to detect breast cancer. That means if you do it very often, once a year, once in six months, the lady can increase her risk to cancer. And it's a painful procedure and so on and so forth. And last but not the least is a technology limitation in the current methods that makes it difficult almost impossible to find early stage cancer in women under 45 years of age. And we are seeing more and more such cases in the world today, such as Bharti and Lakshmi, unfortunately. So when I was discussing about this with my colleagues to say, is there some way that we can detect cancer without using radiation? One of my senior colleagues, Dr. Mesta, who is an imaging expert, introduced me to this radiation-free imaging called infrared imaging or thermal imaging. I was fascinated. We looked at the advantages of this and thought, like, you know, why is it not being used today? And we found that 
Once you have a thermal image, interpreting it is extremely difficult, error prone. Though some doctors have tried to do this, they're not accepted because it's very subjective and not a quantitative way of doing it. As a computer scientist, I said, OK, let's start a project which can help in automated interpretation. We started looking at this problem, developed a few algorithms, got some initial preliminary results. But then I thought this required a complete focus, better al algorithms, and better accuracy. So I quit my job, started a startup along with some of my colleagues. And we started working with the hospitals and diagnostic centers to evolve a new method of doing breast cancer detection called thermalytics. Thermalytics is a combination of thermography and machine learning. Let me explain a bit. Thermography is about detecting the temperature variations on the body from a simple camera or a thermal sensor like this one. It's an infrared imaging device which can be kept three feet from the patient to measure 400,000 temperature values on the chest. When there is a tumor cell, it divides irregularly. There is higher metabolism. There is higher blood flow to that region. That increases the temperature of the tumor, as well as there are some heat patterns around the tumor. We could actually detect those using these thermal sensors. However, there are several reasons why a temperature increase can happen. There are several reasons why a different type of heat pattern can come in. So we developed a software to determine whether a particular set of heat patterns is because of cancer or not. This is called computer-aided diagnostics using artificial intelligence and machine learning. Basically, machine learning is you kind of teach the machine to learn to detect complex patterns. So we trained this machine learning model using several cancer patients' thermal images and non-cancer thermal images. And then we have an accurate solution, which can take these thermal images and say whether the person is cancerous or not. Outcome is a simple, privacy-aware, early-stage breast cancer detection methodology where the lady just sits in front of this device for about 10 minutes in a cool room and just sort of moves around in a stool, and that's it, in a completely privacy-aware manner where nobody has ever touched her, no pain, no radiation. Nobody even sees her when this test is happening. And it works for women of all age groups. It's completely radiation-free. All we're doing is measuring the temperature. It's like a thermometer. It is also portable, light, and affordable. So in addition to having this in hospitals and diagnostic centers, we can do camps, outreach programs in rural areas, corporate camps, apartments, and get a large number of people to do the screening together. Women really love it because it is privacy aware. This solution enables an easy way of doing preventive screening. What we need is that everyone is aware of their breast health and does regular self-examination and annual preventive screening to increase the survival rates from 50%, which is today, to 90 95%. If this happens, we can have a world free of deaths due to breast cancer. 